for watching. I'm going to show you guys as quick as I can how to be able to move a photo and write on top of it because with Microsoft Word you cannot and I'm going to try to explain this as quick as I can for you guys and as easy as I can. Okay, first what you're going to do is drag the image that you want on your desktop of your computer which I have a coupon that I've printed off and copy and pasted I'm sorry, not printed, copy and pasted from Google and moved it over to my desktop. Next you're going to um, search your print, I'm sorry, not print, uh, Windows Paint, Paint. And if you don't know how to find Windows Paint, click on your Start menu, right here, type the word Paint, P-A-I-N-T, and don't mind my shaky video because I'm, I don't have two hands to record this. There's Paint right there, it should search it if you got it, if not you can download it. Once you have Paint, you're going to click on um, Clipboard, up in the upper left hand corner, click on that. You're gonna hit paste and paste from and then desktop. Once you're on your desktop, you're gonna find the image you are looking for and there's the coupon I wanted. Highlight it and push open. Next, you are gonna click on the little A button right there, which means you're gonna start typing. Click here, it opens a box. You can make it as big as you want. Oops, almost messed that up. All right, drag in the box over here where I want it. And if you mess up and like click outside of the box you have to start all over I'm sorry guys that's just the way it's set up and uh, it thinks that you're done so there I've put my box in there where I want it and say I'm gonna leave that section there you're gonna when you have what you want I'm gonna say ten dollars off look at this shift I got ten ten dollar off I'm gonna do a ten dollar off coupon okay so I'll write the word coupon C U P O N Sorry, had a phone call, got interrupted. I said, I think that's how you spell coupon. If not, it is or it isn't. So you're gonna highlight this and say I want it bigger and make it to, we're gonna go to 16. And then you see this where it says opaque and transparent? Click opaque, look what happened. My background is now white and everything that was behind it is gone. So I hope this video helps you guys out on how to type on a picture or um, whatever you're trying to make so hopefully you're trying to use this so hopefully this video helped you out one way or another thanks for watching give me a thumbs up